Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskorov from Laravel Daily Team, team of freelance developers who work with Laravel projects and also try to teach the market, teach the fellow developers and the clients how to reach better IT project results. Topic of today is a demo project with subdomains for different users. So this is a Laravel project based on a theme uh, credit is a theme called Listing by Colorlib, which is free if you uh, if you leave the credits in the footer. And it's really simple. So list of products by companies. And there are two companies seated. Now the magic happens. See the URL q3.test. It's in my local homestead. If you click if you click a company name, the domain becomes company1.q3.test, which is subdomain. So products of the companies, and then you are kind of browsing the shop or the area of that particular company. And then if you click on a product, uh, it shows the product itself. It's uh, That data is preceded, it's coming from the database, so those products are uh, kind of with fake data, with fake names. But what I wanted to show you is that subdomain logic. And if you go back to the homepage, for example, you are looking for a product called Nam something, I saw that title, and then the product returns result, and then this product goes to company one subdomain, and this one to company two. So this is the kind of the project to have master uh, shop uh, or master database uh, with, uh, with the ability to click on something and land on a subdomain for that particular uh, merchant. And the logic is that if you register, for example, if you want to register a new company, interesting that it's working, that should have been this one. So basically register form and the fifth new uh, field on top of default Laravel fields is the subdomain. And then it goes to the database. Uh, if you can see the database, so there's one uh, admin user. And then there are subdomains for, well, subdomain field for each of the users. And that is how it works. Now, how it works in the code. Everything is basically on top of default quick admin panel stuff, which you shouldn't care about in this video. This is the main stuff. So in route, you can have route domain with parameter subdomain, which is in, in brackets. So this will be a variable. So any subdomain dot our main URL, and then you have a group inside of that, uh, inside of that subdomain. Where this comes from, app short, your short URL is our own kind of logic to have short URL. So for example, in .env, so this is the main URL of the app. By default, it's local host, unless you override it. And we do override it in app URL, which is, again, my local homestead domain, q3.test. Now, how to get q3.test without those HTTP or HTTPS? So this is where that preg replace comes in, it replaces the prefix, the HTTP or HTTPS, with the actual domain. So this is where we get subdomain.q3.test. And then what happens, that subdomain becomes a variable. So this is what you mustn't forget. Inside of all the controllers here, inside of this, it becomes a variable. So this, you have to pass that as a variable in all the, uh, all the methods of that controller. And then you can use it inside. So uh, in this case, uh, index page of, uh, of a company uh, takes the shop with that subdomain. And that's another interesting thing. So you can uh, do where subdomain or this, that's a Laravel stuff. So you can do where subdomain or shorter uh, subdomain. Yeah, but let's, let's return it to the original state and I will put it on github actually that project so you can play around uh, and final thing probably is the domain configuration and that part I won't show you the wildcard subdomains because it really relies on your operating system web server domain register uh, and all of that I will show you my homestead configuration for those two particular domains so this is how it goes. Uh, I've hard-coded those two. So this is the main domain for q3.test. And then there are two subdomains as well, uh, pointing to the same repository. So it's the same repository, the same code, the same database for all of them. Just all the subdomains are pointing to the main project. 
and then company one or company two, these prefixes are caught in the code with routes web with this subdomain group. So that was a quick demo. I will put that, as I said, on GitHub. I uh, hope it was helpful and see you guys in other videos.